Welcome to Snowmobile Trail Systems instructional video on how to install the smart holder for smartphones onto Yamaha snowmobiles. The smart holder is a weather resistant case for smartphones that features a touch through screen with two different thickness of pads depending on what case you already have on your smartphone and what what brand of smartphone you have this is the thicker one there's also a thinner one that comes with the case and uh, you can uh, try those out and see which uh, combination or single pad that you'd want to use to uh, have the best fit for your phone the case also has a brass fitting on the back that it, unless that is removed you can't uh, remove the uh, the bracket that holds the case so it keeps it nice and secure. Smart holder uses RAM mount for isolation of shock and adjustability so you can transfer from portrait to landscape mode and uh, the bracket is made out of a marine grade aluminum that's black powder coated and all stainless steel hardware so it won't rust. And it fits Yamaha model apexes from 2006 to 2014 and the Yamaha Vector 2010 models to 2014 models. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to demonstrate how to install the smart holder onto a Yamaha Snow. The installation only requires the use of two Phillips head screwdrivers. Uh, this one is just a common uh, number two medium size Phillips head screwdriver and then I have a size zero Phillips head screwdriver for the installation. The first step in installation is removing the eight screws from the windshield and then once we set the windshield aside there's three screws that are removed from the top of the back of the gauge cluster. We then install the bracket and we place that with three longer stainless steel screws and uh, rubber bushings and uh, attaching the, the holder and then replacing the windshield on the screws. So I'm going to go ahead and demo the whole process for you right now. Starting with the outer screws and working towards the center and front. There's two more screws that are down on the, each side of the, the windshield. To get to those screws, you have to remove the hood, and that's just a matter of releasing the, the pins, the hood pins on each side. Just a quarter turn, and uh, just kind of pull up the post, the pin out of the hole where they uh, are seated. Slide the hood forward slightly, and then it lifts up and out of the way. What I do is I take either a, I've got a bed sheet that I put down over the engine compartment just to protect the screws from falling down in the engine compartment. Even by just doing this simple safety precaution in case you did drop the screw, you won't have to try to fish a plastic screw out of the engine compartment later. The next step is to remove the three OEM plastic screws from the top of the gauge. I've already done those to save some time in the video. And um, there's two vent holes that stick out a quarter of an inch on both sides of the back of the gauge. You just slide the smart holder bracket over those two vent holes. We have a rubber grommet that goes in and then the screw goes through the grommet. Process. Second screw on grommet. And the third one. And I've got 
each screw. Okay, there's that step. The next step, thumb screw, it's, it's loosened, and that goes around that rubber ball. And just turn the thumb screw, put the case in a position it's you'd like. And that's it. Next step is replacing the windshield. What's nice with the smart holder, it places your smartphone in the ideal viewing position. You don't have to tilt your head down if, like, if you had it mounted on your handlebars. It's much safer being right in your line of sight. But you can still see when you're, you're sitting on the sled, the, the nodes of your sled, so it's uh, and the tips of your skis of your sled, so it's not obstructing the view. I recommend picking up a nice, good quality power adapter. There's a DC port right on your sled where you can plug that in. And what I do is I simply route that cable behind the smart holder and then right into the phone. So by keeping your phone plugged in, it, the Smart Trails app is a GPS app and it uses a fair amount of CPU cycles which uh, by running the processor in the phone keeps the phone, phone nice and warm plus the fact it's charging the battery and keeping the phone nice and warm. I've never had a problem with the, uh, the phone uh, uh, freezing up even in sub-low temperatures. It's nice with the case. You don't have to worry about the phone flying off and it's weather resistant. The smart holder is the ideal phone holder to go along with Trail Systems, which is a smartphone app that we're developing for the iPhone and the Android platform. It's uh, essentially a trails map of the whole state of Michigan that's been gets updated every year. Uh, the, do, the trails do change uh, up to 15% each year, and uh, so we're, we keep up on the updates. And uh, so essentially, the map is downloaded with the app, so uh, that way you never get lost. Your map is always in your phone and if you're off the grid it uses the GPS chip in the phone to show on the map where you're located so you can't get lost which is great uh, being able to uh, no matter where you go out on the trail still be able to get your bearings and see uh, you know which way you're going and uh, we're making the app also uh, routable so that uh, you can get turn-by-turn -turn directions to a gas station or bed and breakfast or hotel wherever you might be staying and if you have a Bluetooth headset you can hear those turn-by-turn -turn directions in your helmet and uh, we're also uh, making the app so that it will show in real time where the grooming machine is at so the benefit is you'll be able to find the nice smooth beautifully groomed trails and uh, also if, if you're riding with a buddy it'll be able to share your buddy's location with you. So if your buddy takes a left turn at the trail fork, you'll know that you'll need to do the same. I've, I've had this situation before where my buddy took a left at the trail fork, I took a right, and next thing you know, we're just miles apart. So it's just safer if you can stick together. And uh, the app is coming to the Apple App Store and Google Play Store soon.